Good morning, my crafty friends. This is Lori Girl on the Ridge. I just have just crafting. I thought I would bring you along. I'm working on some things. I'm making an envelope right now. And I thought I poured my coffee. And I want to show you some things that I found yesterday. Yesterday I went to a, um, our old basement house. We still have some things in it. And I found some plastic doily, or a plastic doily. And look at the print it made. It is so pretty. So don't, I never bought them new. So what I'm finding are just the old ones. So I don't know. Um, but they were just so pretty. And then the paper came out the edge look at that paper and that's just pouring um spraying coffee on it it just came out so white and it was just awesome so that's my new piece of doily I'm hoping it comes out looks kind of dark so this I played with yesterday my grandson kept me busy all day oh and here's another nice nice piece Look at that print. So I'm having fun with that. And then we went and we got some <laughs> some old toys of my son's that my grandson wanted to play with. So we did that. And then I found, oh, they're sitting in my lap. Old quilts that I had. So I'm dismantling them. They're very shabby chic. And each one of these had one of these the puff balls in them. So I've been taking them apart. And then I'm washing them. And I put them outside to dry. But this very shabby. And then this one. This one's going to be gorgeous. This is, again, it's just all the pinks and the blues. Probably from the 70s. And uh, I was hesitant ripping it up. But there's some stains. So I said, well, you know what? It is what it is, so. So that'll be some more upcoming projects. Actually, I made um, out of the envelope yesterday, the white envelope I showed you. I just turned it into, well, I'm turning it. I used a piece of the um, quilt. See, there was a, um, I mean, I washed them on, put them in the sun, but they're just discolored, which is just awesome. And some Esme laces. And I'm turning this one into, I'm using Shabby Dabby Doodah. And turning it into, I sewed two book pages, or two bags in the middle. I'm going to do one of my curtain spreads. Like I said, I um, got them at Stamperia. I know, um, I had one subby say she got one before they ran out. I think right out of Poland. That's, that's what she said. But I know, um, I think they're hard to find. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and then this one just lifts over. So this is going to be like a portfolio type ephemera journal, maybe? I'm not sure by the time I get done with it. But that's what I'm working on today. And I'm just making an envelope to go in it. Let me get the quilts off my lap because when I have a hot flash, I can see that. And it's like yesterday, my grandson was, I'm just going to cut this and we'll decorate this up. Um, we go to the cemetery and we get the golf cart out and he's got to take me around the cemetery. And I literally had tears in my eyes because he takes me, he likes to go to, um, any little child grave. So, Grandma, I got to show you this little boy. I, I don't even know if he used the word passed away. But he's got cards on his grave. And we got to clean them. So, he pulls up to this little grave. And sure enough, the pa parents or whatever family put all these little match cards. And not only does he stop, but in the glove compartment of the golf cart is a little broom. So, he gets out. And I'm just watching him. And he's taking all the cars one by one off, sweeping the stone because sometimes the weed whacker throws the little grass or rain, whatever. And he cleans all the cars. 
<laughs> it was just, I just had tears in my eyes. It was just the most gentlest thing I've ever seen. And just, oh. <laughs> then we had to go to another little boy. He had an airplane. And um, we had to do the same thing. He swept around it carefully. I, I just, it just for seven years old, I know that's how he's, you know, my I, son grew up because we lived in the cemetery for 30 something years. So my son grew up there. And he kind of was brought up the same way. He respect, <laughs> first of all, you respect other people's property and just respect in general, I guess, is where we're lacking nowadays. So yeah, that was a very nice day. And then we found some of my son's toys and we played games all afternoon. So it was a very fun day. Until last night. <laughs> There's always... I get a phone call and I had a dear friend um, pass away from COVID uh, complications. And it was she was healthy. <laughs> She was healthy, so it was a shocker. I was sad. She used to, well, she used to be here every day for five years. She would take care of, um, help take care of my aunt when she lived here with us. Until she was 99. <laughs> so it was a very sad, sad night. Sad, <laughs> sad everything. But she lived her life the way she wanted to and nothing stopped her, so that's, That's it. Nothing you can do. I'm part of life. I know that. But she's growing up and living in a cemetery. It is what it is. <clears throat> so, on that note, I'm just crafting my little heart out. Because <laughs> I'm not going to be stopping anytime soon today. <laughs> and that was a doily. I had a die cut from that. A while, an old one. And I cut them out. So it is gorgeous out. We had a little rain yesterday or maybe the day before. Or even maybe last night because everything is so blush and green this morning. And it's a little cooler because yesterday it was hot. So it was really, really... Um, Oh, it smells so good outside. So I already laid out my paper, even though it's in the shade. For the sun to hit. So we're just doing... Sorry, I got this little piece sitting here. It's just the teapot. Like, it's... Like a little bill. It's got numbers on it. And then chew even. So I know I always you know me, I always go off to one side or something. And I think I got this. Let's see, I really don't want to use black because I don't want it to jump out too much. So let's see. My vintage photo is going to show up. Yeah, it's faint, but that's kind of what I'm looking for right now. And then I will. I love putting these kits together. Or not kits, I don't know, sets. Because no set is identical. And it's just fun to... Just fun to do whatever. And I do... do a little of the black soot. I'm doing the black soot because... Of the black hands in the watch or the clock. And it just kind of, but not a lot, not really heavy, heavy. Just kind of. 
kind of can't forget the back. This side. Father's Day. Let's see. Tomorrow's Father's Day. I'll we'll go to my dad's. I think I'll put this right here. I got a packet here. Let's see. Leave it like that. This I should just do a little. I should have inked it before I put it on, but I was probably in a hurry. Put a little note tag in there. Actually, we'll do a little vintage or um. else we're gonna do let's see oh this is um hmm I'm not sure what I was gonna do there I'm make something for that let's see I got a piece of paper let's just do a Envelope trifold. So. I'll put that in here to break up the two prints a little. Okay, and then here. I haven't done in a while is I do a flip over decoration that goes in there we will do Let's see what we'll do. Let's get, um, start with style vintage. And we will do a, let's look at Tina's shabby dabby doo that that's pretty I forgot what's what kit that was it was in my design team request um you know what let's do this picture frame but we'll do it that way well to me it looks like a picture frame Um, Michelle Scott, I think today also she's going to have an auction. She had one last night or sale. Not, and um, I got some really good books. Old cool books. And I believe she's going on today. Just check her out. It's a Michelle Scott and live on YouTube. Oh, where did my other thing go? I'm still using my little garbage box. I just need to find where I put my inkers. Oh, there's a, use my little one. Let's stick that black. And then we'll 
put a little cheesecloth down. <clears throat> Let's see. I think tomorrow I'm going to make, I usually make dessert for, for uh, holidays. So I'm going to make, um, God, we used to call them scoop cakes, the cake, and then you put the candy and the pudding because I'm going to clean out my grandma cupboard because I know I got like a two pound bag of M&M's. So it'd be like an m and cake. <laughs> I don't think I've touched my babe Ruth though. We'll keep them aside just in case we have a bad week or something. And there's a little picture. Actually, it's a stamp. I just like squiggle it. I'm not going to try to get in all those little... All those little things. I'm not going to do it. It there and then I'm going to make a little tiny envelope <sighs> Ooh. Getting this all messed up. So actually, it can go hang down. I'm going to put this little piece of material to, to kind of go with the. The middle of the book, the spine, had that same material. I'm just gonna zip it up. And a sewing machine. And I'm just gonna leave it here. And I think we'll just put a little, little pearly, pearly pearl. Let's put that in the box where it belongs. And, and then we got to have a piece of... Seam binding. I have three, no, four little, little tiny tomatoes that are just popping up. And my granddaughter went to go pick them the other day. I couldn't get to her fast enough, but I saved them. Because <laughs> she does not listen. She tunes you right out. We even had her checked for a hearing test, but it's just her, her disease. It's whether she does it. I don't know. <laughs> she does it. And then we will put this in here. There. Alrighty, 
right, guys, I think that's it for now. Um, I hope you guys have a nice day. Try to stay positive, especially if something in your life is not the way you wanted it. It is, you know, you just have to deal with it and make the best of it. So you guys have a nice day, and um, I don't know. I'll see you in the next video. I don't know when, but I'll be back. Take care. Bye.